Hi, I'm Varsha and you're watching this video from JustTutors.com. In this video, we are going to learn about operations on real number. But before moving to our today's topic, we'll try a warm-up question. Here is a question for you. To try the warm-up question, you can pause the video. So as you can see that it's 104 square. So we can write it as 100 plus 4 whole square. Then we'll use the identity a plus b whole square which will give us our value as 100 square plus 4 square plus 2 times 100 times 4 which is equals to 10,000 plus 16 plus 800 which will give us our answer as 10,816. Now we move ahead to our topic which is about operations on real number. So rational numbers satisfy commutative, associative and distributive laws for addition and multiplication. And if we add, subtract, multiply and divide two rational numbers, the answer is always a rational number. But what about irrational numbers? All non-terminating and non-recurring decimals are irrational numbers. And if we add, subtract, multiply and divide to irrational numbers the result may be rational or may be irrational but if we sum or difference a rational number with another irrational number the answer is always an irrational number and the product or quotient quotient is like division of a non-zero rational number with an irrational number is always irrational now we illustrate these with some examples here are the examples for you this is about addition or subtraction so as you can see 23 is a rational number and under root 2 is an irrational number. When you add them up you will get answer which is an irrational number again. Then 15 minus under root 3 whereas 15 is rational and under root 3 is irrational. When you subtract them the answer is irrational again. The next is about the product or division. So the product is 2 times under root 5. Give us a value of 2 root 5 which is an irrational number. Similarly if 3 divide under root 6 this is equals to under root 6 over 2 which is an irrational number again. Now we are going to discuss about some identities related to square root. So this says that if under root 2 dot 3 equals under root 2 time under root 3. So in generalized form we can say under root pq equals root p times root q and whereas with the division under root whole in a root p over q equals under root p over under root q now here if you can see this is somewhere like a plus b a minus b give us a value as a square minus b square so under root p times under root p equals under root p square which is equals to p so this will give us a value as p minus q. Similarly, next you can see that p plus under root q and p minus under root q is p square minus q. Now, the part e, you can see that under root p plus under root q times under root r plus under root s. So that is under root p times under root r, under root p times under root s, under root q times under root r, under root q times under root s. Then by using this identity at a point we can write it as under root p r plus under root p s plus under root q r plus under root q s. Now in next question as you can see this is somewhere like a plus b whole square which is a square plus 2 a b plus p square and this is somewhere like a minus b whole square which is a square minus 2 a b minus b square. Now we move ahead and now we are going to discuss about addition or subtraction of two irrational number. So if you remember that the answer may be rational or irrational. So as you can see in first part when you add two irrational number the answer is irrational whereas in the third part if you add two irrational number the answer is rational number. And in second end you can see that if you subtract two irrational number the answer is again an irrational number but here if you subtract two irrational number the answer is a rational number. Similarly for the multiplication and division as well here you can see that if you times two irrational number the answer is a rational number whereas in this case if you times two irrational number the answer is again an irrational number. Here in division if you can see that if you divide 
to irrational numbers this will give us an answer which is a rational number whereas in this case if you divide to irrational number the answer is again an irrational number now we move ahead and here are some practice questions for you to try these practice question practice questions you can pause the video here are the answers for the practice questions you can match your answer and you should pat your back as you're working really well in understanding different operations on real numbers thank you for watching the video for more please visit justutors.com